Hello friends, welcome to this course on HyperMesh. In this lecture, we will know about free edges. Now to understand the concept of free edges, first let's go to open and open up a file. Go to the folder of free edge in your project file and select this file that is free edge and click open. Now free edge option is basically used to check whether the mesh is connected or not. Now to use this free edge option, we can go to this tools and go to edges and the shortcut from the keyboard is shift plus F3. So press shift plus F3 and here we can see we have two options elements and component. So whether we want to check in a complete component or the element. So generally it is better to select the elements because we are going to check connectivity for the elements. Now on the right side we have toll length value. So the toll length value is basically the gap value between the nodes. So generally we specify a very little value of toll length. So let's say this is 0.1 press enter. Now we have option of equivalence and retain. We will cover it later. Here we can see option of find edge, delete edge, preview, equivalence, etc. Now what I do, I rotate this and then here we have to make sure the meshing is turned on. So inside this component make sure the meshing is on. Now go to this element, click on this, go to displayed. Now it will select all the displayed elements and now go to find edge. Now click on return. So here we can see one more component of edge has been inserted. So we have to pick some different color for this middle surface component. So let's say I click on this color and let's say I select blue color. So now we can have a better preview. So let's zoom in here. So let's zoom in. So here we can see. So here we can see red color. So I turn off this surface. So it will turn off all the surfaces. And here we can see free edges are showing. Wherever you see the color of this edge, you will find that there are free edges. It means that nodes are not connected. So here we can see the nodes are not connected. Similarly, let's zoom out. Another better way of finding the free edges is turn off this mesh also. So turn off the surface and turn off the mesh. So on the outer of the elements, we will see the free edge. So it is normal, but we have to make sure on the inside there are no free edges. So we can see we have free edges here on the inside and here. So in this meshing, there are two locations where we have free edges. So turn on the meshing and another location is this. Here we can see. But when I zoom in here, we can see the gap between nodes is very less. So I zoom out while here we can see the gap between nodes is very high. So whenever we have a very little gap, what we can do is we can we can connect this by going to once again free edges. So press shift plus F3 and then once again go to elements and displayed. So before this delete this free edges. Click on this delete edges. Now we can see the edges are deleted. Now go to element displayed once again and this time I will click on this preview equivalence. Click on this. Now with this preview equivalence, if two nodes, I zoom in here, if two nodes are within this toll length value, it means the gap between two nodes is less than 0.1, they will show in this preview equivalence. So here we can see the equivalence. Now for this equivalence, we have two options, equivalence at and return. Click on this arrow, lowest, midpoint and highest. So basically what happened after click on this preview equivalence, I click on this equivalence, click on this. Now we can see the nodes are equivalence. I zoom out from here. Similarly, we can see the nodes are equivalent. So these are the options for this equivalence. So where this 
node will move. So we can move it to the lowest ID, mid point or highest ID. Similarly, where we want to retain this, lowest, highest. So generally we take all these values as default. Sometimes you can also take the midpoint. In this way, both nodes will meet at the midpoint. I return from here, zoom out. So once again, we need to check the free edges. So go to shift plus F3 and then displayed and then find. Turn off this meshing. Here we can see free edges are gone. But now we still can see free edges here. So turn on this meshing. Now we have to connect these nodes. So first delete these free edges. We can delete this from here and also we can delete this component from here. Right click and delete. Delete yes. Now to make them connected, turn on this surface. What I can do is I can use the replace option. So press F3 from your keyboard, F3 and then you will see option of replace. Now I will make a check on this replace at midpoint. So select the first node and select the second node. Now we can see these two are replaced. So it means these are touching each other. Similarly we can do this for all the nodes. So let's say I pick this and pick this. So both nodes will meet at the midpoint. We cannot replace these two nodes because the gap between them is very high. So what I can do is I can select this node and pick this node. Similarly, pick this node like this. Now I select this node and then select all the and then select all the nodes that are closer to each other. So continue selecting this option. Here we can see I can select this and select this. So now we can see we have connected some nodes but still there are some nodes that are remaining. Now what we can do is I can remesh this. So I go to F12, go to auto mesh, here I will select elements. So in this problem the element size is 5, select these elements and click auto mesh. So basically we have removed this prior element. Similarly we can also remove this. And also we can remove this. Similarly here the mesh is not connected. So we just have to remesh it. So now we can see the mesh is now connected. Here we can see the flow in the fillet is not proper. So what can I do? I can once again remesh this complete fillet. So hold down the shift key and then drag the mouse and select all these nodes and select all these elements and remesh it. Return. Now we can see we have a much better flow at the fillet. So once again I go to the free edges, shift plus F3, displayed and find the edges. First let's see preview. So it is showing zero node well found. It is good and then click on find edges. Now go to this meshing, turn off this, turn off this. And here we can see now we don't have any free edges between the elements. So in this way we can check the free edges. So click on delete element, return and turn on the, and turn on mesh and surface. 